Yora, uh, I'm Jenny Sim. I'm the vicar at Newlands Paparangi Parish in uh, Northern Wellington, and this is Heather Whitehead, one of our parishioners. Uh, a few years ago, decided that we had three houses as a parish, and we wanted to release one of them for mission and ministry into our community. Uh, so we spent some time preparing for that and praying into it to figure what could we use that house for. As we waited on God, we became aware of the issue of. Um, Teenage boys not having a home to go to. Uh, homeless boys who, for whatever reason, weren't able to live with their family. There weren't many options for them here in Wellington. While there was one place in Wellington City, it's closed down. So for these boys, the only option, apart from sleeping rough, was the men's night shelter. We decided that was our target to provide a home for 16 to 18 year old teenage boys. Willie and I, we came into the parish seven years ago and when this came available, this home came available, well, it kind of, you know, all fell into place, God's help and prayer. Te Waiora o Te Araki is the name of the home. Te Waiora is the water. Uh, it's the living, living water of Christ and it's to nourish and nurture the children that come into the house with the adults or whatever age and it's just that Christ has got his hand on them. We are a normal family, our mokos walk through the house, uh, our, our grandchildren, I would say mokos, our grandchildren walk in and out of the house, our kids walk in and out of the house um, and hopefully what they see is a normal normal upbringing. Just being caring and listening and just opening up our home. So I guess you could say it's quite small because we're only talking two, maybe three boys at a time um, for a short, short to medium term um, but hopefully that it's a bit like the starfish principle you know it makes a difference to those one or two or three at a time and gives them a different experience of life that hopefully colours the rest of their life. I think for, for Willie and I, we know we're in a, in, in a place where we're put there for a reason and it's a calling and God's always there with us. So it, whatever challenges we meet up with, we'll, get, we'll, we'll work that through, you know. I guess one of the other things I'd say is that we don't do it in isolation. We're connected in with um, Amber Leonard and some of our Anglican networks that have uh, their finger on the pulse of this um, youth homelessness issue across Wellington. We try to uh, link in to other agencies that can provide that professional support. Our job is just to provide a home and a family. 